it's time for our real showstopper and a personal favorite. My luscious lemon coconut cake has four layers and it's perfect for a special occasion. And I wanna get right into making this cake. It starts with two and a half cups of cake and pastry flour. Now, the method for this cake is called the reverse method because it's the opposite of a style of cake like the cupcake top recipe. You start off by sifting all your dry ingredients together. In addition to the flour, I need one and a half cups of sugar. I also need baking powder, a tablespoon. Lastly, half a teaspoon of salt, and I'll just give this a sift all inside my mixer. There we go. And before I start mixing, I'll add my three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter. It's cut into pieces, and I've let it soften up to room temperature. While the paddle is working all these ingredients together, let's work in some of that lemon flavor, the zest of a whole lemon. Now I work in the butter until I no longer see large pieces of it visible. It doesn't take too long because the butter is softened. All right, that's a rough crumbly texture. So now it's time to add the liquids and I add them all at once. So first I need one cup of buttermilk. And I am adding lemon juice, a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, four eggs, and two teaspoons of vanilla. An easy ingredient, but one that actually helps to keep your cake moist for days, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Give that a quick whisk. That light lemony color in these cakes comes really from the eggs, not the lemons themselves. There we go. I'll add this all at once. And then mix on low speed and then increase the speed just to aerate the mixture a bit. All right. The batter really does fluff up. And after about two minutes of beating, it gets a little more structure to it and a nice lighter color. I have two eight inch cake pans. I've greased the pans, the bottoms are lined with parchment, and then I dusted the sides with flour. The cakes are all set for my 350 oven and they take half an hour to bake. I test the doneness by dropping a skewer in the center when it comes out clean, I know they're ready. What I like to do is let the cakes cool in the tin for about half an hour, then I turn them out to cool completely. Now it's time for the coconut filling. The first thing I do is I measure a cup of whipping cream into a sauce pot. You do want a deep pot. You fit a lot of ingredients into the pot. I need a cup of sugar. Now I need my lemon, and guess how much? The zest of this whole lemon. All right, to thicken it, I use cornstarch. So I need a quarter cup. I add two cups of sweetened flaked coconut. Now I bring this up to a full simmer, but over medium heat, and I keep whisking it. And I want to see it liquefy and actually fully simmer. I want to see bubbles break the surface. That way I know the cornstarch has fully activated. And at that point, then I can add the eggs. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to turn off the heat, but I'm not done cooking yet. I have three eggs here, and I want to whisk in a little of this hot mixture into my eggs, just to warm up the eggs. Basically, make an introduction. Hello, egg yolks. Here's some hot coconut custard. It warms it up, so then when I add this back to the pot, it won't curdle. Because I have the heat off, I've got a little time buffer here. So now I can whisk it in, put this back on medium heat, and this time it's to simply thicken up and cook out the eggs. All right, now it's ready to come off the heat. So I'll transfer this to a bowl, and then to cool it down even more and add richness and set, I'll add half a cup of unsalted butter. And I'll give that a whisk in. Just whisk it until it melts in completely. All right, the last addition, vanilla, a teaspoon. And then if you like adding coconut intensity to your coconut desserts, half a teaspoon of coconut extract. So what I'll do is let this cool down and then chill it completely. So my next step is to make the buttercream. 
So what I have are two egg yolks here, and I'm adding to that a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. And surprise, surprise, the zest of a lemon. Let's just load it up with the lemon flavor. Now I need a quarter cup of sugar, and I'll take this over to my water bath. Whisk this until it doubles in volume. I'm cooking out the eggs along with the lemon juice, so when it mixes with the butter, it becomes fluffy and smooth. All right, now that this has doubled in volume, I'm going to cool it down by pouring it over two cups of sifted icing sugar. It almost looks like a lemon mousse at this point. All right, so I'll transfer this to my mixing bowl. I have one and a half cups of butter here, cut into pieces and just at room temperature. And I'll start adding this a little bit at a time and then just let the beaters do all their work and make this into a beautifully rich but fluffy frosting. All right, and I'll add two teaspoons of vanilla, work that in and my frosting is done. Oh, that's such a beautiful, fluffy, but smooth frosting. Now, to get all my components ready for assembly, I've got my chilled lemon coconut filling. I'll grab my cakes and my cake stand. So, the first thing I do is I need to slice my cake layers. When I'm cutting a cake horizontally, I don't cut just in one direction because inevitably I either go up or I go down. So what I do is start from the outside and just make little cuts working inwards. That way, you get cake layers that are nice and level. First, cake layer goes down. I have a piping bag fitted with a plain tip. So what I like to do is build a frame or a dam around the outside of the cake. That way, this smooth filling won't leak out and push out the buttercream from the sides. Then, I spoon a third of this lemon coconut filling in the center. And I just spread it right to the edges, stopping at the buttercream. Now, top the next layer. And I just keep repeating with the frosting and the filling until the filling's all gone. I like to put the bottom of the cake on top, that way I know it's nice and flat. And now I want an even coat of frosting on the top and the sides. Don't panic because I completely cover this cake in coconut. So any little miss marks or imperfections, it's all gonna be hidden under just a beautiful blanket of coconut. I'll smooth out the sides. presentation platter, and I have about a cup and a half of sweetened flake coconut, the same kind I used in the filling. So this is the pastry chef way. This is why you have the cake board. You slide the cake off of the cake wheel, and then starting at the bottom, you work your way up, and you just gently press that coconut on. And then the finishing touch, a sprinkle of coconut right on top. That's looking pretty nice. This is quite a substantial cake. It does feed a crowd, but you do need to chill this down for a few hours to set the buttercream. And here it is chilled, and I do like to serve it right from the fridge. So you have your ta-da moment. The cake has been presented, then it's time to slice. Ooh, look at that that coconut filling, the frosting. You can just see how tender and delicate that cake is. Oh, what a dream. I think this is the ultimate in lemon cakes. What a combination of flavors and textures, but at the heart of it is just that love for a good lemon cake. Mm.